Once again, a warm welcome to you in this edition of The Morning Call. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi addressed Ghanaian lawmakers on Wednesday to observe the 400th anniversary of the first enslaved Africans arriving in the U.S. during her official visit to Ghana. She arrived in the country on Monday together with the congregational delegation that included Congresswoman Elan Omer. Pelosi's address to Parliament mainly focused on the U.S. commitment to security, freedom and justice for all. The visit coincided with Ghana's year of return. Pelosi said that the Ghanaian president, Nana Akufo Addo's declaration that 2019 was the year of return for Africans in the diaspora was a wonderful gesture and added that visiting a fort where slaves were held was a transformative and humbling experience. United States House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Wednesday joined Ghanaians to mark the 400th year since slaves first landed in America. In her address to Parliament, she welcomed the Year of Return campaign initiative introduced by the Ghanaian government this year, an initiative targeted at honoring the resilience of the slave trade's victims. In her speech, Pelosi also reaffirmed the friendship between Ghana and the United States. The Year of Return we solemnly remember the horrors of that terrible atrocity. What a beautiful gesture of your president, President Kafo Ada, uh, to declare the year of return campaign. At Cape Coast Castle, we stood before the door of no return, where countless millions caught their last glimpse of Africa before they were shipped to a life of enslavement. Being here has been a transformative experience for all of us. Pelosi also visited Cape Coast Castle and its door of no return in Ghana, where millions of slaves were placed before being shipped out of Africa. Ghana was one of the main starting points for the slave trade business in Africa. The slave trade officially ended in 1907 when it became illegal in the United States for new slaves to be imported into the country. Well, this visit of the President of the United States House of Representatives comes at a time when Accra is celebrating the year of the return of African Americans to their roots. The Democrat leader and her team visited historic sites associated with this dark period of slavery. In addition, we must recall Nancy Pelosi's address in Parliament describing slave trade as a diabolic act. Our correspondent in Accra was there and now tells us more. Odelia Del Sol Ofori is African News correspondent in Ghana and she joins us now to give us more details about this visit. Good morning, Odelia. Good morning. How are you today? Very good. And yourself? Ah, we are very fine here in Pointe Noire, the Republic of Congo. It's good to have you in the program. Good to have you too. All right, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi led a congregational delegation to Ghana. What brought her all the way from the United States Chambers to Ghana? Um, well, you remember that today, uh, yesterday was exactly um, 400 years since um, the first uh, black slave got to America, that's Jamestown in the USA. And um, this year has been declared in Ghana as the, uh, the year of return. And so this actually coincides with celebrations throughout the U.S. And uh, the leader of the House of Representatives found it um, great to come together with the Black Caucus to Ghana to actually live through um, what exactly happened some 400 years ago. And also to have some um, business discussions, including um, the growth and the African Growth and Opportunities Act, the Millennium Challenge Partnerships, among other things. And so it was virtually um, coming back to Ghana to remember what actually happened and also to foster the way forward in terms of business and opportunities between the two countries. Odelia, what are some of those issues Nancy Pelosi underlined during talks with the Ghanaian MPs? Well, so... Um, so what she actually did uh, during the visit was to um, praise um, the bond that exists between Ghana and uh, the United States and also um, how Ghana has contributed to global peacekeeping. Um, you know that Ghana has been um, a major leader in providing soldiers for the UN 
and also in keeping peace on the continent and uh, the continent of Africa. And so she praised those things that Ghana has been doing. She also spoke about the need for Ghana and um, America to continue to support smart development strategies that will spare sustainable economic growth that lifts up families in Ghana and, of course, families on the continent. And you know that sustainable development goals have been at the center of virtually every discussion um, from business to politics to every opportunity that exists and for countries in sub-Saharan Africa and the impact of climate change, for example, is very critical. And uh, Ghana has been very instrumental in discussions at the UN on these issues. And so that was also uh, one of the things that was very important that she spoke about in Parliament. And Odelia, why Ghana of all the countries on the continent? You know, the president um, of Ghana has been uh, talking about the year of return. This year was declared as the year of return and um, creating the awareness and the opportunities that um, black Americans um, can get on the continent and the need for them to return home to take a look at what actually is happening on the continent, especially in Ghana. And Ghana's Cape Coast Castle is one of the centers or the, or the nerve centers for the slave trade that occurred some 400 years ago. And so, I mean, it's a better place for the whole story of um, um, slavery to be told than this place. And of course, um, you cannot come to Ghana to talk about slave trade without visiting the Cape Coast Castle. And so, that was an opportunity for um, her to live through what really happened on, um, some 400 years ago and to really see firsthand exactly Odelia, last question. So how did the MPs react to her statement, particularly those of the opposition? Uh, what I'll say is that the politicians um, have been talking about diverse things. So, for example, the um, opposition leader, one of the opposition leaders, uh, Samuel Okujotua Blakwa, um, who is part of the Foreign Affairs Caucus, said that he was disappointed that, I mean, she came all the way and hasn't spoken about um, some um, regulations that President Donald Trump has put in place in mistreating immigrants who live in, 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 in America, especially Ghanaians and certain um, Africans, other Africans, some restrictions even for um, leaders of the continent, especially some leaders in Ghana have gone to the embassies and refused, have been refused visas. So all of these were things that, you know, the, one of the positions is saying that this should have been some of the conversations that should have had um, on the, uh, in, in Ghana when she was um, delivering her speech, but that was conspicuously missed. But for um, the deputy majority leader of parliament, Adwasako, um, she said that about the, the visit should motivate um, young African women, Ghanaian women, to want to venture into politics, to want to come to parliament because uh, currently less than 15% of the Ghanaian um, parliament is is made up of females, and for her, this is really a motivation. She's also talked about the fact that this should also open us up for deeper relationship uh, with the United States in, in terms of business and um, to build capacity and to create investment opportunities. I want to quickly add that it's unfortunate to hear that so, uh, just around the same time that the visit occurred, uh, Ghana has suspended um, a, 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 an electricity agreement with PDS, which is one of American's companies, uh, in the collection of, of, of electricity bills from Ghanaians. This contract has been um, totally um, um, suspended. And so uh, this is actually telling you that while a lot of African leaders are gradually becoming bold. They are gradually saying that, look, it's not just a white wash. We've got to do better business. And I think that the deputy majority leader was 
creating the opportunity. I was talking about the fact that there's a need for us to create deeper relationships with the United States in doing good and sustainable business. Well, Odelia, we have to leave it at that. But thank you very much for giving us all these details. Thank you very much. Have a good day, Odelia. You too, and have a wonderful program. Thank you very much. Odelia Del Sol Ofori, African News Correspondent in Ghana, speaking to us from Accra.